All right, you guys, welcome back to the phase change internship um, for engineering. Day nine, completing the proposal. We're going to jump right into activity one, jump into the future workspace. Remember, um, you're going to jump in from the warm up section of day nine, and here is your link. Let's read your message. So, hello, interns. Today is all about finishing your proposal by adding the ending and the beginning. Your internship coordinator will help you use the project summary to write the introduction and the trade offs, reflection to write the conclusion. You might also want to refer to the dossier. You know where to find that. There's a link here and on the main page of day nine for information and resources to help you write. These two paragraphs are the final parts of your proposal. The introduction shows the reader what you know about the project, while the conclusion shows that you've thought carefully about the trade-offs involved in your optimal incubator design. Remember to use the scientific and professional language to communicate your ideas. So the only deliverable you have today is your final proposal. So let's go ahead and move on to our next part of the lesson. Um, activity T, writing the introduction. So first off, today you're going to complete your final proposals. In the introduction, you'll explain the project so that even a reader who does not know about your work can understand it. So you should have a form in your inbox that has the introduction. Okay, so we're going to jump on in there. Um, what information might be important to include in the introduction? Pause the video here, discuss it with your partners for 30 seconds, go. All right, so something that you probably brought up were the criteria. We had three main criteria that you needed to make sure that you included. So you probably want to discuss that in your introduction. So the proposal rubric can tell us what Anton's going to be looking for to be able to find a strong introduction. So if you look at the one that you have in your packet, you also have this on the in your email, I do believe. Um, but it will tell you if you want to excel at your introduction, you want to summarize the design request and describe the proposal design by listing the various variables or details and the final results. So let's look at a large version of the rubric together. Okay, like I said right here is what you want to focus on. Okay, so to complete the proposal introduction, you'll need to tell the audience the details of the design you are proposing. This is where you'll make your claim that this proposed design is optimal and the rest of your claim proposal supports this claim, the design claim that you are going to propose. So let's th read through this example design claim. So this baby incubator design used, and then you're going to list your details. The results show that the baby's average temperature was, list your temperature. The time outside of the healthy range was this many minutes, and the total cost was this many minutes. So this would be an example of a design claim that you would just fill in for your specific design. So pause the video here if you need to use this, and I'm going to move to the next slide. Remember that you wrote a project summary on day four. You can actually use what you wrote in the project summary to get you started on your introduction. So you can use what questions you answered like these here. What is the engineering problem you're trying to solve? And what is uh, describe the first criteria and why is it important? So you can use this to help you start your introduction. In order to transfer the information you need to first pin the project summary form using the pin icon on the top right hand corner. Now I'm not sure how this is going to work because I can't actually see it on my end, so we'll see how this goes. Then you'll open the final proposal proposal form and locate the introduction section. Once you do that, you're going to transfer your answers from this summary form to the introduction of the selection proposal, final proposal. Okay, and then complete your introduction by revising the summary project summary and adding a design claim. Remember, go back to that slide. We'll go back to that slide for a second. This will help you to start with your design claim. All right, so pause the video there so you can finish up activity T on Amplify to um, write your project summary final proposals introduction in your workspace. All right, welcome back. Okay, we're going to go discussing trade-offs and writing a conclusion. So in the conclusion, you're going to wrap up the entire proposal by demonstrating that you understand the trade-offs among the criteria. So um, we're going to look at that rubric again and look specifically at the conclusion section. So here we go. Description of design priorities. Um, is clear. Summary of trade-offs in the optimal design is detailed and thorough and includes a strong closing statement. So what might make the summary of trade-offs clear and detailed? Yeah, adding more than one example of the trade-offs and use specific details about your results that you recorded. 
Okay, so on day six of the internship, you wrote about trade-offs in your reflection. Reread what you wrote, decide whether you identified the important trade-offs that you want to look at. Pause the video here so that you can do that. All right, now that you have reread them, discuss your reflections with your group. Is it clear which direction was chosen as a priority? So you can do this with your shoulder partner. And is the summary of the trade-offs detailed and thorough? Pause the video here so you can discuss that. 30 seconds, go. All right, so what trade-offs did you have to make? These are the things you should be asking yourself as you're writing this final conclusion. Which criteria did you prioritize and why? Did different designs have similar trade-offs? And how did your choice of what to prioritize affect the trade-offs you have made? Pause the video here, take um, two minutes to discuss these four questions and be prepared to write them in your conclusion. All right, so a convincing conclusion to summarize why the project director should choose your design specifically. Describe your priorities that you put above the other things. Describe your trade-offs. What did you decide? What design strategies did you use? The pros and cons of the materials. You had some things you had to trade off. Include a closing statement about why the design is optimal. Even though there were trade-offs, why is this one optimal? All right, so in order to transfer the information you need, you'll first pin the trade-offs reflection form using the pin in the top right-hand corner of that reflection form. You should be able to find these in your inbox. Then you're gonna open the final proposal form and locate the conclusion section. You should be able to paste it in. So transfer your answers from the trade-off reflection form to the conclusion section of the final proposal. That should help you get started. And then complete your conclusion by revising what you wrote in your trade-offs reflection. So just reread it and make sure that you have covered what we talked about that you need to make sure that you have in your conclusion. If you need to pause the video here so you can still see these please do so and go ahead and take about mm, four four or five minutes to go ahead and finish up your conclusion and reread it all right so finalizing the proposal and activity d we're going to make any final revisions to your proposal we want to make sure that we review the introduction section make any rev revisions you want to in the designs decision section, review the conclusion considering your trade-off section, and check for qualities of communicating scientifically. So are you speaking in an appropriate um, tone or language um, and making sure that you are writing in a way that you are speaking to a professional? Okay, and then once you are done with that, you want to submit your final proposal. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to pause the video here. Go ahead and review over your parts, your sections, introduction, design decisions, conclusion, etc. Go ahead and go through all those parts and make sure you're ready to submit. All right, last but not least, you need to submit that final proposal. So at the bottom corner right here, go ahead and click submit and that will send that proposal in to Anton um, so that he can review it. Okay, as far as your after hours work, you're going to return to your daily message notes and see if you have any unfinished tasks. At this point, you shouldn't um, because we have completed all of day um, one through nine. We're going to go ahead and end this lesson and you're going to want to come back in and check out lesson nine if that's the next one on your Canvas page. Um, please make sure you go back and check Canvas to see what your next, what your next um, lesson is or what your next steps are for today.